let's talk about factoring. Factoring is using the distributive property in reverse. So what we're doing is we are starting with something that is in simplest form. We're going to find the biggest common factor and then write this using parentheses instead of in its final form. All right. So let's take a look at 72t plus 8. Let's think of the biggest number that goes into both of them. Well, I know they're both even, so 2 goes in. 4 must go in as well because half of 72 is 36, which is also even. And in fact, 8 must go into all of them because half of 36 is also even. So what we're going to do is we're going to write 8 outside the set of parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we're going to divide both of these terms by 8. So 72 divided by 8, that'll give me 9. I'm talking about 9t. And then 8 divided by itself is 1. So what I'm doing there is I'm saying if I worked backwards and distributed, 8 times 9t would give me 72t. And 8 times 1 would give me 8. So these two are equivalent expressions. And I'm working backwards to put them into a form with parentheses. So in summary, step one, look for the largest factor that goes into all terms in the expression. Step two, write that factor outside the parentheses. And then step three, inside the parentheses, divide each term by the factor and write the quotient. So let's try a couple more examples together. For number two, my terms are 55a and 11. The biggest number that goes into both of those is 11. So I'll write 11 here. 11 times 55a, or sorry, 11 times 5 will give us 55a. Not just 5, but 5a. Plus 11 times 1 gives us itself. If you understand what you're doing, please pause the video right now and continue working on this on your own. If you're not sure what to do, Keep watching. So 36x plus 72. I have to think of the biggest number that goes into 36x and also 72. It happens to be 36 because 36 times 1 is 36 and 36 times 2 is 72. So 36 times x will give us 36x plus 36 times 2 gives us 72. If you're ever not sure if your answer is correct, you can check it by using the distributive property. Next one, 144q minus 15. The biggest number that goes into both of those is 3. 144 divided by 3, if you don't know offhand, you don't need a calculator for that. You can figure out pretty quickly that it's 38. So 3 times 38q minus 5, because 3 times 5 is 15. Notice you were subtracting here, so you continue to subtract. It works the way when, same way when we just use variables. Here, the biggest factor that goes into both terms is 3. And 3 times r gives us 3r, while 3 times s gives us 3s.